Hi, I'm Jeff, and in this video, we're going to answer the question, how do I add Revit links to Worksets? To get started, we're going to screen share and jump over to our Revit window. Now, the topic of Worksets, understanding what they are, when you use them, and how to set them up is best suited for another video. But to understand if the model you're currently in is work sharing enabled, you can simply check by looking down at the very center to the active work set window. Uh, if you can see the active work set and select between all available work sets, that means you do have a work sharing enabled model. If this is instead grayed out, what you need to search for is uh, tips on how to activate work sharing, how to start enable work sharing on a new model. Once you already know that you're in a work sharing enabled model though, it's quite simple. For existing links, you can simply click on any link that's in the model. Here I'm selecting on the architectural model that's in the background. Then I come over to my properties window and under identity data and under work set, I can see, aha, this actually isn't on the work set I want. This is on 01 mech for mechanical. I'd actually rather have this on my link architectural work set. So I just simply select that and then move my cursor over here. No need to click again. Once you leave from the properties panel um, out to the active window, it enables that change. And now I can click escape. And this linked architectural model is on the linked architectural work set that I desire. If I am adding a new Revit link from insert link Revit, whichever work set I currently have active will be the default work set that that new model goes on to. But if you mistakenly put it on the wrong work set, no problem. Simply navigate to any view where you can see that work set, select it, and then change it here in the properties panel. If you'd like to add new work sets for your links or further split them up, you can simply come down here to the work sets icon, select the work sets menu here, and this will allow you to add new work sets. By default, you can choose whether or not the new work set will be visible in all views or invisible in all views. And that can also be understood in any given view by going to the visibility graphics of that view. And when we go to the work sets here, we'll see that I can either choose that work set to show, hide, or use the global setting. So that tick box is where we predetermine whether the global setting is visible or not visible. I hope this answers your questions regarding how to add Revit links to work sets. And I wish you all the best in your learning. Stay well. Have a wonderful day.